So this uh, element is present or not, we need to check. And then we have to set, okay, these two elements, uh, same concept. These element present uh, concept you have to use. Set the email address here. Okay, you can set the email address. Then if you click on back button, it will navigate to which page? Login page, right? And we'll set an email address. And uh, when you click on continue button, so it, it will go to, you know, uh, so basically it will send the email. So that's the whole thing. Uh, these are the methods we need to write. So let's go and write, uh, so all these methods. First, this is uh, forget password header exist. That's a method you need to write. Public Boolean uh, is forgot your password header exists. So return. So you can use any one, right? Return. Uh, so is displayed method you can call is displayed. Web element. We have web element, so give the web element. Forget by your password header. Similar. Is uh, your email address list in text exist? So that element you put it here. It's throwing error and things wrong. Maybe typos. Be careful. So while uh, developing them. Next, public. So wide set email address. So you have to give the email address, right? String email. You can just um, so use the send data method, right? You can use the send data method. And say logger log dot info enter the email address. Send the data. Or email address set box, then email. That's it. Next, so continue button and so back button both. You can write uh, navigate to login page. Public void navigate to login page. Info icon. Back button. So take the click method and back. So if you want, you can just add a throws declaration or a try catch block. So let me add the try catch block. Okay. So we didn't add right. You can add a try catch block. And same way.
So you can do that. Click. Click forget password. Continue button. Return, continue button. So then just take this element, continue button, place it here. That's it. That's all. What other uh, pages we log out, right? We need to develop the logout. Are you comfortable now? Are, so are you able to write anything? Or uh, so how do, you, do you develop any few pages? Yes, so I have done for the logout for get registration. Oh, OK. Good. Uh, I write for login page only, Ganesh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Home page, home page first one. Done, right? That one? Yeah. Home page and login page. So, I hope these are good, right? So, you, do you need any more you want me to write? Every page is a similar way. So, there is no change. But we can uh, write test cases. Uh, other pages, I'll just you know copy because it's a similar or not any so great change. So only change comes here. I'll I'll write this product detail space more and uh, my account uh, page. There is something different. My account page, product detail space, registration page, little bit. I want to explain that because the registration page we are using a lot of data. So that data we need to get from a faker class. There is a faker class that we need to add as a library. Then that library you can use it. Okay. Loud is once you log in, uh, then only you will get this logout piece. So that's that's a very easy one. So no need to struggle for that. Let me take from here. Um, the latest one is.
hybrid framework. This one, August 10th. Let's take it. Only. So let me explain this. Um, logout page basically once you log in, in my account page you have to go to. So my account page you have to open the menu my account menu. Under that menu we can find a logout. So that logout uh, logout link you have to click it. Uh, so once you click on that, right? Once you click on that, so then you will land in the uh, my account page. Let me show you that. I'll log in. So go to login. So this is the my account page. After uh, no login, we'll run in the my account. Click on this logout. After clicking logout only, you will get a logout page. This is the logout page. In this logout page, I'm verifying this text and then this header and this continue button. That's what the elements only. So you don't have much. You can see that account logged off message. Is this one. Can you see this? This is the page. So DOID ID value greater than P. That's it. That's what I have written. Slash content. That means uh, ID tag name hash ID value greater than P. So you want header. This header. See hash content H1. So that is a H1 element. So continue button. So continue button is this one. So this is the continue button. So that button you have to a dot the class value. So next, so these are the three elements, all right? These are the three elements. Just identify and write a methods. Is account uh, logged up message exist? Is account logout header exist? And uh, click on continue button. Get logout page title if you want that. Just uh, so get title method on directly can come. So that's a simple page. So you don't need to worry about the match. Uh, Ramesh, in this logout uh, will not inspect this uh, my account drop down in that we'll have logout right now. Now logout message? Uh, no. Can you open the Google? I mean, that yeah. Which can one this one? Me? No, no, no. Little up. The drop down, my account drop down. Uh, this one? Yeah. Okay. In the previous page, we will get logout, right? We need to. No, we logged off. We need to log. So, log in. So then after logout, this page will open. So, you clicked on the my account page, uh, that uh, logout, right? Logout link. Mm -hmm. So, then we need get to... this page. Yeah, we need to write XPath for that also, right? Ramesh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that in the same logout? Page we have to write, or it is in the different page. So it's a it's a different. Uh, maybe you can use a text also. You can use a text. So let me log in. Okay, I'll show you that. Just to know if you spy, you will get a better idea.
Yeah, now this one, right? Mm. Just spy on that. So you see there is a UL. Uh, you can come from here. Okay? ID, top links, then UL, LI2, A. Right? That's yeah. the one. But the same thing we are written in the home page also, I think. Right? Uh, okay, that's uh, that is not the question, Ramesh. I thought like you know that my account dropped down. We have to navigate first to the logout page, right? I mean, we have to. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. You have to click on in the my account page. You have to perform the logout. Uh, yeah, I thought we have to write it in the logout page. Okay. No, no, but no. This is the my account page. Okay. So my account Got page it. we have to write. So I'll show you my account page uh, next. We are going to write. There, I'll show you how to so write that my account page. So, we have finished all these pages. Let's go to my account page next. No. Okay, so here is the my account page. So, my account page is another important uh, page where you have um, so many, like, you know, so many elements will be there. And uh, this space has a lot of you know, logics. So what are the logics is um, like, you know, uh, we have uh, different collections you have to fetch. So did you see these collections? So you, this under this menu, you have all these elements, right? You have to validate these elements. You need to get all these elements. That is the one thing. Then under this account, my account uh, header, you have many elements. You have to get all of them. So then you have to my address also, newsletter also. All these sections you have to get and their elements also you have to get it. So that's a bigger, all collections you have to use not uh, no single element it's a collection you have to fetch even you can write a validation but we have written already validating all these elements so that also you can do uh, that anyhow we have a simple right verify links so that method you can call and you can validate any page links that's so easy We don't need to perform the click action. Just get the each link uh, status code. If status code is 200, then it is working. If status code is not 200, it's not working. So that is how we can uh, check. Okay. So anyhow, let's uh, get start writing for this uh, piece also. Okay. Okay. So, a similar way, right? Yeah. This also. Let's take these parts. So my account menu, we have to identify my account menu first. So that already we have written uh, export just now also, right? Just to identify that. At the rate, find by export equal to, so, Write this X path, whatever the X path we have, just think of. Uh, so, DYD UL div square bracket at the rate ID equal to so ID value slash UL slash LIF2 slash A. Right, that's what I hear. See that UL LIF2 A. So that's what you, if you have a doubt, just take this and identify here. 
So you can uh, just control F. That's it. See that? Yeah. So here it is. So it is idea. So identifying that element. Next, right? Private web element. My account. So import these uh, elements. So import and import the web element also. So we can identify few more elements, right? I can just uh, copy paste so that we can save the time. I will, because I need to type here. So this search also, I'll uh, say that. Next one. So you have a name, you can use a name, placeholder, anything. Uh, it's up to you. So we'll use a placeholder uh, with a CSS, okay? Let me write the CSS. You can use a name also, not a problem. So, so what is the input to input, right? And just put input square bracket. So placeholder. That's it. We don't need to do all these things. SSCSS. Search edit box. So next, search touch icon. This one. So button, I can take this class. Okay, you can take that class and uh, use the CSS itself. Even XPath also fine. So, but uh, we'll follow button. Class equal to class value. <laughs> Next, we can go to this my account menu below. Okay, this we want this one, right? Logout. So identify that logout also. Maybe use multiple because I want multiple elements. So set start second after we want link text uh, one, two, three. So this one link text, it's a link. So give the link text. So the link text uh, name is uh, logout. How it is logout? L capital all lowercase. So check if you uh, have a doubt. So similar is there or not. Copy if. So always get from HTML, okay? So better to get from HTML. So don't know. Uh, so write uh, on your own if it is a different sometimes the ui appearance is different and the html it go it is going to be different so that uh, kind of small small mistakes we can avoid always get from
HTML. Next. And uh, this account breadcrumb. So let's get the account breadcrumb. You have UL class, right? Uh, so you can get that also. Let me get, maybe I can copy also easily. So what we are getting, you can see here. So this is the one you're getting. You can just take this also. Copy this. Otherwise, you can start from here. They have written uh, from almost on the top. They went very top. But we don't need it. You can start from here. So easy one. See, they started this div. They took this div also. Not required. So you will li colon nth child of two. So nth child of two means how many are there? So how many LAs are there? So that's the so very useful. Nth child. That means you want to index a few tags. So this will help you nth child, colon nth child, nth hyphen child. In the packet, you can give number of uh, so tags those that you want to refer. So I can use either this one also. Let me use this. And uh, So account breadcrumb. Account breadcrumb. Next. <laughs> so we need to get uh, this my account uh, header list. These are all headers. This one, this one, this one. So just see that common XPath we need to build now. See that content H2, right? So content H2. Yes, so when you write a content H2, how many you will get? Uh, just uh, see that. So I'll just uh, no. XPath I can write double forward slash. Um, you can put if you want star, okay. If you don't want, right? At the at ID content single quote content slash h2. See that? Uh, it's not visible for you, right? Number of four. Can you see there are three? What are three? First one is this one, my account. What is the second one? My orders. What is the third one? Newsletters. So these are the, so my account header list. So that list, you need to get that. So when you give this XPath, you will get a list of headers. So that's what I'm going to write it here. So XPath I'll use. And I'll just write here. But this one is a list. So it's not same. It's not a single element because it is giving a list of elements. And this one is my account header list. My account header list. Java.it. Okay. So this is the my account header list. Next. This my account. Next we'll get one by one later. This this my account menu list we want. All these, these are the so collections we need to get. 
So how to get all these collections? Just identify first one, then you can easily build a common export. See, this is the drop down menu, drop down menu, right? So if you see that, such kind of, you know, one by one, li and this one, this one, this one. So UL, LI, A, if you write, you will get automatically all of them. Otherwise, you have to go. Uh, so there are so many UELs. So we don't know which one. So that's why I'll go and get from the top. From here, I'll come. So from here, I'll come. So that I'll be very strongly, you know, uh, write that. So same thing. Uh, top links. Right? You can write a top links. So ID top links. Then, so you can see this one I'm closing. Okay, if you close, you won't get it. So you have to use this UL. Then, so this is another UL. This UL is representing that one. And uh, this UL inside only. Okay, so this UL inside you have. So another UL, LA2 inside you have. Uh, again, right, this UL. So this is how you need to complex uh, things. You need to understand how they're structured. So do UL. So write UL first. UL, then slash LA of 2. Okay, LA of 2. After, see, after this LA of 2, you have a UL. See, this is all uh, similar. This A and this A similar. Okay, now this one is uh, down, this bullet icon. Observe that. That's how you need to see. So, which one is down after a uh, parent tag? So, then you write a LI, uh, sorry, UL. Then UL after. So li, you write li. The common thing we want. Now see, we got five, one of five. So one of five, right? That's how you can decide. So this is the my account menu option list. So take this and. Uh, Write that at the rate find by x path. So the x path you give this, and you can just put it here. My account. <laughs> Right, that's all options, my account menu options. Next. So these elements you need to, so these are all done now. Now this, this header option list we want. Get one by one. So then my orders, all this. So we'll get one by one, just uh, copy paste these things and we can reuse them. Yeah. So now my account header, right? My account header menu option list. So my account uh, header. So that's not menu, my account header menu option list. So now you need to get, see this, first identify this uh, menu. See this one content and this UL, right? First UL, this div after first UL. So that you need to write a uh, content here. Yeah. You write a content, content. Then the first UL, LI of A, you need to go LI of A. So see now, there are, it is giving around uh, 11, not 11. So it should not give 
see why it is giving all and these are also counting then what you need to do this is the first ul right there is a one more ul also right so this uh, div content after there is another ul also so this is ul but it is counting this also then you can index this first ul 